Hello, hi, how are you today? In this video, I want to talk to you about why you were activated. Okay, so let me rewind here a bit. We're in a little bit of energy that's like a throwback. And it's important to remember some of your whys. Hi, I'm Patricia. Welcome to my channel where I talk about things like activation, spiritual awakenings, but mostly this channel is about twin flames, four twin flames, and all kinds of twin flamey stuff. Welcome. If you're new here, please focus on my videos. I have a lot of information and let's get right into it. So why were you activated to begin with? A lot of people as they go along here, and I can attest to this because we're rounding the corner on 10 years that I've just been on YouTube, been doing this for several years, and this has grown and evolved. Some people think that they were activated so that they could go run and get their little starter kit of incense and tarot cards. And no, your activation is for you. It is very personal. It's deeply personal. It's so deeply personal that it's about your love life and everything else that needs to revolve around you because it's all about you and it's all about you being loved by the entire universe. So you have connections inside you. So let me just say this. You may know this because you feel things. You feel things starting up for you once you activate, once you have an awakening. You feel nature, you feel a connection to animals, nature, the earth. You feel it in a different way. You might have felt that way at one point when you were a kid that you're a nature girl or you're a nature boy or you're all about the natural world or you have a curiosity or you feel pulled to help animals, help people. And maybe you don't know exactly how that's going to formulate. How it formulates is through your light body that guides you and helps you to structure it, okay? We're in an energy that is throwing back so that we can have structure. Structure is important. So you have connections inside you that are important for 2024. What's coming up next year? You have connections so that you're able to help balance and you're a part of the team, whether you realize it or not. What are you anchoring in the area that you live? Okay, if you're out there just angry and protesting, you're not a part of the solution. You have to be a part of the solutions because we are bringing it. That is why you were awakened and activated. So you have important connections that you may or may not realize you have stuff that's important for other people. You have stuff that's important for the planet, for the animals. You have stuff that's important. And maybe some of that stuff is starting a charity or an organization or something. I'm here to coach you and help you and guide you so that you know what your mission is. So that you know how you can do it the easiest way possible where it's your higher self opening the doors for you and not making you beat your head against the wall wondering how's this going to happen? What am I supposed to do? Where's my part in it? Why can't I get any action? You have those connections and it's important to develop your light body and your discernment so that you're able to help right at the elemental level. The next thing is you need joy period. If you're at a point in your journey where this isn't happy for you, it's not joyful, you feel like messages are repeated, but there's no action. You try to look to the internet for inspiration and time to throw back and remember your why did it happen in the first place. You have an activation and maybe you've buried it under a lot of mind trash, things that are non-essential, things that have absolutely Really no bearing on your twin flame union, okay? I know a lot of people love to use cards, but you're not going to bring your cards with you when you're intimate. I'm, let's face it. You're not going to be like, hang on, let me pull a card and let me see 
how to interpret what you're thinking, okay? That's not going to happen. But where do you find your joy? Because you need joy. That is what you're here to exude. That's what you have to send back and forth to your real person. Sending the joy. They send joy to you. You send it back to them. Ooh and ah over things. Even if it's simple little stuff like, oh my God, look at this bug I found. Like, oh my God, I just like noticed this or that. Oh my God, that, oh, that's the thing. That's the thing. And because you are a rainmaker, if you haven't noticed with some of the world chaos, you know, like I hear that there's podcasts where people are postulating, why is there all this world chaos and the world is losing its mind? Guess what? We're pulling out. We're pulling out of the old paradigm. It's shaking the ground quite literally. And it's up to us to restructure and reposition, okay? The repositioning means there's not just like ancient sites that are sacred. You're sacred. You can bring sacred energy through you. You can bring it deep into the metro areas as well as into the desert and as well as into the edges of society. You are a rainmaker. And part of your mission is to just do that by just being who you are. And that means your light body. That means your twin flame body where there's two energies ramping it up and doubling it up. The next thing is, why were you activated? Well, you cannot get all your needs met from physical things. And this is why some people will feel dissatisfied. A sense of dissatisfaction is a given on your journey. You're dissatisfied with your job. You're dissatisfied with your material possessions, like your car, your house. I regularly feel like I want to overhaul the whole house. I sometimes feel like I just want to chuck it all and get in a truck and just go somewhere. It takes really knowing when that urge comes because you were activated to what to do with it. How, what should you be structuring? What needs your attention? What needs focus? What needs are leaving you? What physical things don't really need your attention and what does? And what do you need? Okay. Because all of the possessions in the world are not necessarily going to fill your tank. Love does that. But love also, there's the paradox there. Love also wants things that are nice and elegant and refined and practical and simple and sweet. And you do need things. You need things whether you realize it or not. It doesn't mean you're coveting things. It means that you are genuinely saying, I would really like that. And by gosh, I shall have it. And you're not wishy-washy about it. It's important to specify what do you need for your physical life and not filling your life with stuff because you need filling. You cannot fill the tank that way, okay? And hoarding is a different story because hoarding is a deep psyche condition that goes way back to cataclysms when people had to rely on found objects. They had to rely on finding things and foraging and collecting just in case there was another major crisis. So that is a deep psyche fear. And if you need help with that, I run a session for that through my Four Zone Healing website. So the last thing I'm going to leave you with is why were you activated? Your light body is about togetherness and bringing joy, bringing joy to each other, that is how you let each other get to know each other and bringing order to the chaos. So if you're not sure about what do I mean about doing the work or working with your light body or it's in your light body or develop your light body, it's time to join my webinar. Check the link below. We do it in three parts and everyone who's ever joined always feels better by the last session. In fact, they feel better by the first webinar we go through. I do live question and answer. I'm a medical intuitive. It is about healing. It is about integration. And it is about ramping up your love energy and receiving it 
so that you can be who you came to be. Not only like-minded people, like hearted people. And we have great discussions. A lot of times we do dream interpretation and it is in a safe space with people just like you. So I hope to see you there. Um, please check it out. One-on-one -on -one sessions, coaching, books, webinars, and live webinars. Thanks so much. Bye.